Oh, it's after six in the morning. We got up quite early and by six o'clock we were pulling up the anchor and have left Tivat in Montenegro and we're heading towards Porto Novi to check out. How's it going? Yeah, it's all right. I've still got some wind, which is unusual. But then again, with the, this bore thing, um, coming up in the morning and has given us enough to get us to the, uh, to the marinas. We just checked out of Montenegro. It was probably the smoothest checkout we've ever done. Um, Red Roo were in front of us. It took literally 10 minutes into the um, customs office, gave them the vignette, gave them the uh, boat registration paper, and that's it. Then went to the boat police, had our passport stuff, and we're going. That's it, we're out. Excellent. Unbelievable. But really good. Very friendly as well. So we've just sprung a leak of fuel down here and above the fuel filter is the, um, I don't know, what you call it, air leak, air lock thing? No, the uh, bleed nipple for bleed the... Bleed nipple, so yeah, it just seems to have stopped functioning properly, so whether it's broken or cracked or whatever, but it's caused a bit of a leak of fuel. Fortunately Kevin looked at the engine and checked it, otherwise we'd never have known. So just trying to put a screw in there to repair it and fill the gap. Just aware of our surroundings because there's a boat over there towing. Yeah. It's not the engine. Okay. So we're finally in Croatia. Our neighbours. At least they kept the noise down last night, which is pretty impressive. How are we doing? We're doing good. Absolutely good. Although last night was a bit of a trauma. Where were we? Uh, we were in um, Kaftat. We were in the bay over the other side from where we checked in. And weather forecast that we had said that there was going to be um, no wind. It was going to be calm all night. At about midnight, it started to pick up. And by 3 o'clock, we got 30 knots of wind going through the anchorage. And it's not particularly a, a good hangridge, anchorage for holding. Hangridge? Hangridge. <laughs> It's not particularly a good anchorage for holding, so... Why is that then? Um, <laughs> there's a lot of weed, uh, the sand isn't particularly, it's pretty soft, so it's not particularly good holding, but we got 50 metres of chain out, and we held tight, and so did Red Room next to us, but there was about four or five who actually um, dragged last night and had to move, so we were quite lucky. Um, this morning it's calmed down a little bit, so we're on our way to another anchorage, although we are, we might have gone the... Yeah, nice little place. We're on the harbour and we decided to stay here for a couple of days because we're going to go to Dubrovnik tomorrow and there's some big wind forecast this afternoon, up to 40 knots coming from a westerly. So we're tied on nicely and uh, should be safe enough. So we're going to go for a wander and just see what this place is like. It looks really nice actually. It's pretty quiet for a beach resort, I have to say. Who have you found? <laughs> <laughs> How much is it? 250. That's 250 kuna. Don't see the castle, but you Pity the sun's right on it, but. Hot tower. 
Slice. On the fountain. It's apparently a Game of Thrones <laughs> Oh no, we've lost one. We're gonna lock her in and go for coffee. in front of us uh, big palace with the arches cathedral featuring a tip switch and by titan and worked by italian masters free admission We have just left Srebrano in Croatia. <laughs> it's only a few miles away from Kavtat. How was that? It was very nice actually, yeah. Um, the quayside was, was okay. Um, we didn't have a laser line, but the anchor held well in some pretty strong winds. Um, there's plenty to uh, to do there. There's supermarkets, there's a shopping centre, you can get to Brodnik easy. And the key was only 200 kunars a night without water and electric, but that's only um, 20 pounds, so it's worth doing if you're going into Brooklyn, probably. So we're heading off to um, one of the little islands, forgotten what it's called already. It'll be nice to see a little bit more. Just coming in towards Dubrovnik. See the first of the cruise liners. There's another one tucked in, it's quite small. Hundreds of kayakers, ships, little ferry boats, yachts. Amazing. I think the kayakers are heading all for that cave. Uvla Lopod. Lopod? Lopod. Uvla Lopod. Something like that. It's a little island off the mainland yeah. and it's very, very pretty. It's pretty. We came in here yesterday. Um, it's about 12 miles away from the anchorage or the place we were at before when we were tied up. And yeah, we're just going to go for a walk and show you around. Got a tour guide up here somewhere. He's speaking English. Unfortunately, he's halfway through his sermon, so we won't bother joining him. Yeah, I like the, uh, the little village town, whatever you want to call it. It's got a nice garden in there, some nice 
Christmas cards. Yeah, quite pretty. The prices in the restaurants don't look too expensive, do you? The most we've seen, to be honest. You saw pizza for something like six. Six thirty. Six. That would be pounds. It would be equivalent to that's six hundred and thirty kuna. Or six? No, sixty-three kuna. Sixty-three kuna. Yeah. Six pounds thirty. And beer is between. I don't know. Forty, 40 kuna. kuna, which is about four pounds in English money. Uh, so we just left Lopod. Lopod. Um, about half an hour ago, the seas are flat calm, we've got about six knots of wind. There isn't any dew today, so we're on the motor, we're only doing a two hour stint. Lopard was really good, um, good anchorage, a bit difficult to, to drop the hook, plenty of weed, um, some people were dragging, some people couldn't set the anchor. I think we were quite lucky actually, we, we dropped in sand and it drops the hook straight in and, and we, were, we were sound. But. So we're on our way to Solano, which is about 7.3 miles, I think. And yeah, not uh, we're supposed to be expecting sort of 15 knots of wind, which is supposed to be behind us, but at the moment, I think we've got about three. We've got 3.4. 3.4. Don't get too excited. No. I mean, the bay we've just left, I can't remember its name, uh, was absolutely Something gorgeous. Like prisoner. Prisoner. Yeah. Um, and in calm conditions, it is idyllic. Beautiful beach. Nice swimming. Nice swimming. Crystal clear water. Water's cold. But we've run out of food, so we are yeah. going to slow. We've run out of um, kuna as well, so we need to change the money. So we need to get to uh, a port or a, a bay that's actually got some shops. In. And this one's got a few shops. So we're heading there, 7.3 miles, like I said, and we should be there in about two hours. So we're in the little town of Slano. Quite a long bay into it. Marina's just over that side. We're going to go for a walk, try and get some food. Although we don't have a lot of kuna left, so we might have a struggle. So we're pushing the boat out, as they say. I'm going out for a meal. <laughs> Boat's tied up securely. Well, let's hope so, anyway. Yep, so we're um, in the Grand Hotel, in the pizzeria section, and we've ordered... Well, you have actually ordered a pizza. I've ordered a pizza, you have. You've ordered pizza. No, I've ordered carbonara. Okay. So. So we've just been for a pizza. You've had pasta and it was blooming lovely, wasn't it? Uh, it was carbonara, was really. Good luck. Oh. How are you getting on? I don't know. <laughs> so that's the bag. <laughs> oh right, oh. Does that make a difference? Does that mean you can put a kite on it? Because it's got the hole at the front. I first, did you? Yeah? I might get it on it Oh no, I've got it dirty, don't worry. Right, and then just try that with that the wrong way round. You might want, you might want, yeah, you might want to lower. Okay, don't worry. Oh, you need to clean your bottom. You, you might. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Remember it's sold, we yeah. don't care. Oh no. Is it better standing further back or forward? I found back, but I then I did fell over. Well, I just tried back and it was better, I think. That's really good. It gives you more, gives you more room to pull forward. <laughs> good morning. We have just left Slano. And as you can see, we're having to tack. So there isn't a massive amount of wind. There's about between 9 and 12 knots of wind. Unfortunately, it's coming directly on our bow. So we're having to tack. Um, we've been tacking for a little while now. But we're doing all right. We're getting there, aren't we? Slowed down a little bit now. Yeah, we're at least some sailing. I know, it's more than we thought. So we're actually going to be heading back down into Greece in the next couple of days. Just coming into 
um, Dubrovnik Marina. We're going to try and come in for some fuel, but they're not answering the radio, as most of them tend not to. So where are we? We're in Savta, or Kaftat, as a lot of people call it, but um, it is actually pronounced Savta. Um, we're anchored in the bay, and we've just come for a walk. To be honest, we walked the other way yesterday with some friends, and uh, today we thought we'd go this way and see what's this side. How's the heat? Very hot and humid. Very really humid. Humid. Humidity is about 70%, and it's really <coughs> sticky. It's not very pleasant. And about 35 degrees. So the anchorage is reasonably busy, you can't see all of the boats. Kestrel's tucked in at the back somewhere, but um, quite busy last night. Big anchorage as well, so you can get lots of boats in. Yeah, unfortunately it's known for catabatic wind here, so if the wind does pick up, the chances are it might hit sort of 30 knots and cause quite a lot of problems, especially if the boats are close together. So fortunately we haven't had much wind over the last couple of days. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, well, why not do it now? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.